Okay. So for the elbow joint, I want you to remember the following. Okay. We did mention in passing earlier, the elbow joint is a hinge joint. So it is a synovial hinge joint. It is enclosed by a capsule. Okay. So in the elbow joint, very important structures, structures here. Okay. We have the trochlea and the capitulum of the humerus. Okay. We've already mentioned earlier that the medial epicondyle is in close contact with the ulnar nerve. And this is basically where the flexors, okay, the flexor tendons are attached. For the lateral epicondyle, this is where the extensor tendons are attached, okay? Then we also mentioned in passing earlier, okay, we also mentioned in passing earlier the capitulum and the trochlea, okay? So please take note of that. I hope you're with me. Now for elbow dislocation, so this is what came out in the exams. Okay, so for elbow dislocations, okay, this is what came out in the exams. So first look at basically the situations wherein uh, an elbow dislocation can occur. So you fall, you fall on an outstretched hand. So please take note of this and look at what happens. Okay, the elbow is dislocated now. One more time, what is the most common type of elbow dislocation? Is it anterior or posterior? Okay, very good, you're still with me. It is posterior, okay? Now here, oh boy, look at this, okay? You see this? Okay, so that's why the gold medal was given to the Philippines. Look at that, now. Elbow dislocation. Now look at this. Look at this. Oh, you can feel the pain. Okay. Now, for all for most common type of elbow dislocation, it is posterior. Now, what you have to remember here, okay, what you have to remember here is the damage. Okay. If there's a posterior, if there's a posterior elbow dislocation the following structures can be damaged. There's two nerves and one artery. So the ulnar nerve, media nerve, then we have the brachial artery. If you still remember earlier, we mentioned that if the brachial artery okay, is compressed, it can lead to a Volkmann's ischemic contracture. Okay, it can lead to a Volkmann's okay, ischemic contracture. Next is olecranon bursitis, okay? Uh, this is known as the student's elbow, okay, or the minor's elbow, okay? Uh, some people might say yung estudyante hindi daw maka olecranon bursitis if they're, take, if they're taking the board exam. Maka bed sore daw, palaging nakahiga, okay? How many of you have bed sores right now? Bed sores from studying or bed, bed sores from uh, sleeping too much? Okay, so here, olecranon bursitis. So we have the student's elbow. We have the minor's elbow. Okay, so please take note of that. Now, this is the one that came out. Okay, the nurse's, uh, the, the nursemaid's elbow. Okay, again, I stand corrected. The nursemaid's elbow. This can be seen uh, in child abuse or when the nanny pulls the child by the arm. So this is a pulled elbow. So what came out recently was the nursemaid's elbow. So basically what is uh, injured here is there's a tear in the annular ligament, okay? If this is in adults, okay, there's a tear in the annular ligament. So nurse's elbow or a pulled elbow. So here, so there's a tear or displacement of the annular ligament and there is also subluxation of the radial head. So the two injuries here, subluxation of the radial head and displacement of the annular ligament, okay? So I'll give you a minute to go over this. Stretch while you can.
okay, radial head subluxation and a displacement of the annular ligament. Uh, here, classic example, look, okay, hold elbow. Here's another example. You drag a child by their hand, be careful, okay. Now next, this is the next thing that came out. Okay, paulit-ulit yung exam, huh? regarding, uh, they usually do alternate in the exams. It's either golfer's elbow or the tennis elbow that comes out. So just remember this for the boards. Lateral is the tennis elbow, okay? Medial epicondylitis is the golfer's elbow. Please memorize this. Do not enter the testing site if you don't know this. So lateral epicondylitis, a tennis elbow, improper backhand technique. Golfer's elbow okay, with the swing, okay, medial epicondylitis. So please take note of this, okay, medial epicondylitis. Hope everyone got this. Lateral epicondylitis. This is the tennis elbow. Golfer's elbow. This is the medial epicondylitis. I'll look at this table. Okay, I made a table which more or less should summarize some entries in the textbook. So when there's a table, you read both columns okay, because tables are usually there to compare. For examination purposes, when time is not on your side, I don't recommend you memorize both columns, but you choose only one, okay? Especially if opposite yung mga entries of each column. So in this case, golfer's elbow, this is medial epicondylitis. Okay, this is caused by abnormal abduction of the forearm. What is torn here is the medial collateral ligament. In lateral epicondylitis, which is the tennis elbow, this results from abnormal adduction, okay, adduction of the forearm. The ligament that is torn here is the lateral collateral ligament. So please take note of that. Okay. going down with the table. So as to the symptoms, now I strongly encourage you to pay attention to the symptoms because most likely they will make it into a case. So in golfer's elbow, there is pain along the medial side of the elbow and pain when you clench your fist. Okay, you try doing it in your seat, a okay, pain on the medial side of the elbow and pain on clenching the fist. In the tennis elbow, the pain is on the lateral side of the elbow and there's pain during arm or wrist extension. Okay, try doing it in your seat right now. So pain in the medial side, pain when you clench your fist, that favors medial epicondylitis. Pain on the lateral side and pain during arm or wrist extension, then that favors the lateral epicondylitis, okay? So this is very common in uh, baseball players, pitchers, the Tommy John surgery, okay? What is common in basketball players is the knee surgery, the ACL tears.